Hi guys, Sandy P, my newest mask. I now have three that I um, alternate. I have my baseball one, my one with cats, and my donut mask. Okay, I'm going to tie this. Yeah. Hope y'all are having a great day. It is Thursday, July 2nd. I just wanted to come on here. I'm actually should be cleaning up stuff and getting things ready for people to come and help me Sunday. I made a list, so I know what I have to do. Sorry, my nose itches. Ugh. But anyway, sorry about that. It still itches. Ugh. Um, before I get this started, you know, I have... Sorry, reaching back behind me. A list of stuff to do. And then people are coming on Sunday. They're going to help me pack up. Um, somebody's going to stop at u-haul place and get some boxes um i think somebody else is dropping off some boxes some a friend is moving on the 12th and or the 10th and then after they're all moved in and empty their boxes she said she'd bring me some boxes and so i'll have those for the next time i gotta pack stuff um trying to find someone who's a cooler i can borrow because there's only gonna be i mean there's not gonna be a lot of us um because we can't have groups of, um, you can't have big groups here still. And anyway, I don't want to have a big group of people that I'm not living with or people that I'm not seeing every single day. I mean, it's just not smart to do that. I like no cookouts or anything on the 4th of July. Okay. But, um, I'm going to order pizza for them and I got some cookies and some chips and some soda and some water. But I'm hoping someone has a cooler I can borrow so I can just put the soda, cans of soda, and the bottles of water in the cooler instead of, like, putting them in the refrigerator. Because, anyway, I want to come on here and show you mail I got. Okay, I'm not going to show you all of it. I got some of my um, paparazzi. I actually got two boxes. Um, but I just wanted to show you a couple things from those boxes. They were really... The, the delivery time is getting pretty, I don't know if they're, they're just extra busy or with everything going on, but, um, okay, this got, these got delivered today. This is 4th of July jewelry. There's no way I could go on a live show, sell my 4th of July jewelry, and get it sent out to people by the 4th of July. So, I'm just going to be holding on to it, I guess, until... You know, still show it eventually, and then whenever people want to buy it. I'm actually taking a little break from buying the jewelry because of moving and everything. So, that's going to be a little bit of a break. But anyway, this is like this bangle bracelet. And you can... Okay. I should have just started it on my wrist and not going over the hand. Anyway. You can make it bigger. Oh, it's it's attached there, but let me see if I can start with the other end. So you can make it so it fits on your wrist. It still has a tag attached to it, so it's hard to do. But, yeah, it has the red, white, and blue beads, and it's a silver band. I think they're very pretty. These would have sold nicely, I think, if I would have gotten them in time. They'll probably still sell. But I am, like I said, taking a little bit of break from my paparazzi because... Packing up everything, and um, once I get moved, I'm going to start going into it full force. But those are really pretty. I have five of them. And these necklaces, oh my gosh, they are so much prettier in person than they show on the website. And la 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 la. Oh, I called the apartment yesterday. I've already told you all how I do have the apartment. I called her just to ask how I can pay because here where I live now you can only pay by money order and she was like amazed at that and she says you can pay cash you can pay check you can pay money order you can set it up with your bank account the other thing they don't do is they don't take charge they don't take credit and I'm like okay small town so it's cool anyway this necklace comes with first it just has these little tiny it's hard to get those right 
you just like little silver ball earrings. And then the necklace. This is a really long necklace. I think this is so pretty though. It's a really long silver chain. And then the base of it. This is what I love. It's like I said, so much prettier in person. It has the stars on it. And then Liberty and Justice for All. That's a little bit bigger than a quarter. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. And then there's one, I have like three of those, I think. And then one other um, patriotic one I got. comes with her stuff. This has just little simple blue earrings, which I think are really pretty. Let me just leave them in the plastic. And then it says All American and has a little blue stone there. And this one's like a shorter chain. It's like a regular length necklace. They always put a little staple in there so the thing doesn't like fly out, so I don't have to tear this bag. But yeah, I got two boxes. I got some other jewelry in there too. But I wanted to show you guys the 4th of July stuff or the patriotic stuff, which would have been nice to have gotten it on time. But I'll make do with it. Okay. And then on Facebook, there is um, a group. Oh man, I can't remember the name of it right now. But it's, I showed you in one of my previous hauls, the black cat flag that says welcome that I got. Well, on this list, you put your Amazon wish list on this group. And then they had a day um, last week where you post one thing that you want from your Amazon list. It's like crafty gifters or something. And um, people can go through and look at this post and then they just have to comment, I'll buy that. And then you send them the link to your Amazon list and then someone buys you something on your list and sends it to you. Um, I did a couple of the, I'll buy that. I bought for a couple of people and sent stuff. And um, I had this on my list. It's fabric, um, sugar skull fabric. So now I can be making sugar skull masks. I had some earlier when I first started making masks, but I ran out of that material. And um, I've had people who wanted sugar skull masks, so I did that. And this group is so cool. They did a day last week, I don't know how often they do this, I'm still kind of new to the group, where you ninja someone. You post the link to your Amazon wish list, and someone just goes through and they ninja you. They just buy a gift and send it to you. They, you, you don't tell them it's coming, which I think is cool. And right now they have a um, thing going on It's like before and after because we have an address list of everybody who's in the group. And then at the back part of the address list, you have to, um, you know, write some of your favorites, like what you collect, what your favorite candy is, what your favorite drink, you know, stuff like that. And right now there's this before and after and they want people to go pick someone, pick the person before them on the list and pick the person after them on the list and send something doesn't have to be something on their list that they wanted could just be a card could just be you know anything so I think this is pretty cool and it, it's really it really makes you feel good knowing you're getting this mail okay and I am also in another face group Facebook group that has um, books to read it's like a book club and it's all like I said the books the monthly books there are um, I've talked about them before are light-hearted books no tear jerkers no like no crime no it's it's a type of book I need right now because I'm a reader I've been reading since before I started kindergarten I was reading Nancy Drew books in kindergarten I read The Hobbit for fun in lower elementary school I love to read but everything going on I haven't been able to read it's I haven't been able to read everything like I said I used to go and buy books at Dollar Tree just go through and pick out books and then I would read them. I can't do that anymore. 
So, um, there have been, people have suggested books that, that they really liked on this list, uh, and this Facebook group. So, I found um, a website, or different websites. Um, Amazon, you can also buy them cheaply, but this is a Libris, A-L-I-B-R-I-S, I think that's what I said. And you can find books so cheap there. Thing is, you know, you do pay for postage, though. But if you're paying only 99 cents for a book and then paying $3.50 for postage, yeah, you've done good, girl. Anyway, these are some books that were suggested, and I found them. I haven't paid more than $5 for any book. So this one's The Hating Game. by Sal A novel by Sally Thorne. It's Lucy Hutton and Joshua Temple Templeman hate each other, not dislike, not begrudgingly tolerate, hate, and they have no problem displaying their feelings through a series of ritualistic passive-aggressive maneuvers as they sit across from each other, executive assistants, and co-CEOs for a publishing company. So, that one was recommended. This one was highly recommended. It's also a New York Times um, bestseller. When Life Gives You Lululemons. And it's by Lauren Weisberger. It's Welcome to Greenwich, Connecticut, where the lawns and the women are perfectly manicured. The Tito's and sodas are extra strong, and everyone has something to say about the infamous new neighbor. And so I guess she's a new neighbor. Um, this one was originally... Uh, it's a 1699 book, but I guess whoever bought it, I got it at Target. This one was originally 14.99. Like I said, I didn't pay. I haven't paid more than five dollars for any book. And two of these books came together, so it was shared postage. And then this one by Bunmi Laptidan, Confessions of a Domestic Failure. This one was highly recommended, too. Says, there are good moms and bad moms, and then there are the hot mess moms. Introducing Ashley Keller, career girl turned stay-at-home mom who's trying to navigate the world of Pinterest perfect, Facebook fantastic, and Instagram impressive mommies but failing miserably. And this one was $15.99 also. Like I said, two of them came together, so it was shared postage on that. On that. So got books to read. I've still got more books that I haven't read yet. Books that, um, kind of like a swap that I did with someone and a book that a friend wrote. So I've got some books. I've got, um, in three weeks on the 22nd, if things go okay, I'm going back to Nebraska. Just keep your fingers crossed that Arizona gets its act together. Because I just heard today that now, um, if you're flying into Pennsylvania from Arizona, you have to quarantine for 14 days. So that now means New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and Kansas. That's right. Five states? Five states where Arizona is one of the states that has to quarantine for 14 days. I hope we get our act together. And um, from what family and friends have told me, Nebraska's pretty laid back about it. But they have taken this whole um, coronavirus, COVID-19 thing pretty serious. Um, I think I've talked about the county I'm going to, where I'm going. It's a small county. And um, up until recently, there have only been 35 cases in the whole county. And... Um, their number hadn't increased in, I don't like they said, 29 days, and that's when we're up to 35. And now I did see that there it's up to 36 now, and there has been a death. Um, but it's it's a small town I'm going to. I'm staying in a, a small town. It's bigger than that, um, next to where I'm going to be living when I move. Um, it's a lot of rural community, and I don't know... I mean, I'm going to fly into Omaha. I will have my masks with me. I'll be wearing them. I'll be safe. Um, so I want you all have a happy 4th of July. I don't know if I'll be back on until then. I want you to stay safe, stay sane, 
wash your hands, wear your masks. I don't care if your state says you don't have to wear your mask. Think of the others around you. Um, just, just be safe and be smart. Love you guys. Bye.